Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic, epic unboxing. So we got this box right here, open it up, and yeah, you already know, we got Bakugan. Let's go, dude. Heck yeah, get that box up out of here. Get that bubble wrap. Oh, it's a big bubble wrap too. Look at that, man. Like, oh, hello. What in the firecracker is going on here? I don't know, but yeah. Anyways. Let's get into it, dude. So we got this. It is the awesome Bakugan Geogun Rising Aralis Toranoid Ultra 3-pack, man. Check it out. It's looking sick. Toranoid's looking really, really cool in Aralis. And we also have Aquas Aratoa here. And we also have Ventus Jetra. It's Jet's Bakugan, man, so you know him winning the second Invitational, got a Bakugan uh, named after him and such, like how we saw with Simo, with Simoga, uh, showing up in Season 2. Well, this season, we've got Jetra, and yeah, man, I dig the design for Jetra big time. It looks so, so cool, man, for sure. Like, yeah, this is my first time actually reviewing uh, Jetra, so um, yeah, man, it's probably going to be the one I honestly say for last with this unboxing, uh, yeah. But Oratoa and Tornoid are both looking really, really sick, too. And look at them right there, like, squad pulling up. Not playing any games, man. Uh, yeah, so, gotta check out the back. So, Tornoid, Jetra, it's ball design, so sick. And Oratoa as well. So, got the Ultra, regular Bakugan cores, the uh, character cards, ability card, gate card, all that good stuff, you already know. Uh, then the Battle Matrix, Baku Clip, both shown at the bottom. Um... I honestly don't even know, like, are, like, did they make Baku clips for Geogon Rising? They probably got released in, like, other countries only, but, yeah, because some of that stuff, that's how it was with uh, Armored Alliance, so I wouldn't be surprised if it happened with Geogon Rising. Um, but, yeah, dude. So, anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so we got a three-pack here. Gotta get that. Alright, get that out of there. Boom. Boom. Reptarn it a little bit, cause yeah, yeah, no. All right, get that yeet, get that out of there. All right, let's see. Do we? Uh, well, we got the cards right there. Our toe is out. We got Jetra, and then um, we just gotta get Toranoid, and Toranoid being the big boss with plastic strips. All right, you got one tubby tubby, and then. Alright, there we go. Got it. But now we gotta get into uh, the cards and such. Yeah, alright, here we go. If I could get it, dang it. Alright, this darn tape strip. This is a big tape strip. Holy cow. Alright, well, uh, get those out of there. And I ain't worried about that. Uh, the, the cores. Ooh, a couple of the cards got stuck. Yeah, alright, get those. Uh, put those over there and Alright, but we got the gate card here. So um, Hey, I getting the biggest boost 600, you know Gorthion on it uh, Looking really really sick man digging that artwork for sure All right, and then we've got uh, the cores here regular fist Minus three honestly a very good trap core um, plus 250 plus three with that flame fist very very nice got a helix here plus 500 minus one very nice um, then we got another fist plus 100 pirates and ventus plus three um let's see here do 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 uh aquas and chaos getting plus 400 with that shield very nice and then uh pirates and ventus getting plus 400 with that shield so honestly the cores they've been putting in like the latest waves uh have been awesome man all of them have been solid like they've been putting really really solid cores in for sure uh yeah, and it's really, really nice to see that, no doubt. All right, but yeah, man, so now we got to get into the Bakugan. So I guess I'll get into Toranoid first just because it's open. Um, and I'll do the opening action for it at the very end. But Arliss Toranoid Ultra looking so sick. Of course, it being like a giant uh, bull, like a monster kind of demon uh, bull. But in Arliss, it's looking really sick. The gold plastic, of course, metallic gold on the front arms and such. Uh, and then the silver as well. You got uh, the hooves, which have silver and also gray. You got the metallic gold for the horns, the silver for the top part of the face, uh, gold on the tail, gold on the back legs. Looking really, really awesome, dude. And it does have manual parts, being these feet. Uh, yeah, man. <clears throat> but 
Uh, metallic gold for the center part too. It's looking really, really nice, man. I'm digging how Toronoid is looking in Aralus. Uh, yeah, definitely want to see it in darkest, no doubt. Uh, but uh, yeah, man. So let's see. Um, do do do. Can we find that B power? Uh, maybe, 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 maybe not. If not, then we'll just look on the card. Oh, there it is. Uh, B power six hundred. All right. So I mean, if it has uh. If it has the heel, it's breaking a thousand for sure. But um, yeah, man. But overall, it is looking very, very sick in Arliss. So gotta close it up. Uh, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Oh yeah, there we go. It's got the Quagmire giggity effect or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We got those. Oh yeah, Toranoid being a pain to to actually close up. I remember. I remember. Pyrus Toranoid was a pain big time. But uh. Yeah, let's see. It's just the feet. That's the only tough part is getting like the feet to stay in. Because once those stay in, it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Let's see if if I can get them. Might might be struggling a little bit. Not even going lie, might be struggling a little bit. All right, come on. Uh, the head, horns, uh, feet, back feet, tail. Wrap around, bring it around town, throw it down with my sounds right now. Wow. Boom, boom, pow. I don't know. <laughs> All right. And then the what we need is just that tail. Um, Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, practice closing Toronoid a little bit. May no, maybe. I might have it. I might have it, man. It's just that foot. It's just that foot. If I can get that foot to stay in, man, we got a chance. Um, maybe. Maybe. Come on. Come on. It's got such an interesting, like, design with it, too. So, it's like, uh, yeah. Dang it. It's just that foot, man. Like, just getting the feet in. That's the tricky part with Tornoid. But did manage to get it closed. Just had to adjust that foot a little bit. But basically had it. But there is Arliss Tornoid Ultra in the closed ball form. Looking really, really sick, dude. Uh, you can see the metallic gold with it. The gold paint, of course. Um, you know, the metallic gold paint. The metallic silver. And all of the gold plastic. Just looking so, so awesome, man. Definitely digging it for sure. Alright, so now... Getting into it, we've got Oratoa. So, Aquas Oratoa. Oh, it wanted that, man. It definitely wanted that. It tried to take that core with it. Uh, yeah. And uh, again, the same core. Wait, this will be a perfect test. Uh, can it double core? Maybe. Oh, got it. Well, um, let's see. Is it strong enough to double? Nah, it's not strong enough to double core. Well, maybe if it's on the edge. If it's on the edge, it tries to, but still, it doesn't have the strongest magnet with it. But still looking really awesome. So, Aquas Aratoa. Of course, the Aquas blue uh, plastic with it. You got the black all around. You got the sky blue on one side and then the other side, as well as the sky blue right there for the head. Got the orange for the eyes. You got the orange right there for kind of the shoulder plates. Um, of course, the swirl design right there. <laughs> Zone eye. Anybody else a, a Zelda fan? Get the reference. Because <laughs> the swirl. But yeah. Anyways, man, uh, got the black paint right there on the inside. It's looking so sick. It reminds me definitely, like, ball design-wise, like, uh, Talion. Like, for sure. Similar designs. Uh, but, uh, yeah, man, B-Power is 700. All right, so even if it has if it has even a shield with it, it just needs one. Uh, I could break 1,000, definitely. Go to 1,100 if it has a shield. But, yeah, man, overall, it is looking really, really sick, dude. I'm so glad they made Oratoa. I was scared that they weren't. Like, they showed off the Oratoa. Um, in, uh, Arutopolis, yeah, Arutop, yeah, Arutopolis, that is the name of it, um, but they showed it off, like, with those episodes, sorry, it's a little spoiler for the show, but just seeing it now, I can make all the reference and stuff, um, but, seeing them there, I was like, oh, man, I hope they make them, I hope it's not a Gorillion type thing where they don't make it, you know, and I'm still hoping they make, like, Tico and Gorillion and a bunch of other Bakugan, because for real, Evolutions will be the perfect point to do so, man, like, no doubt, it's perfect, um, and also, like, TCG cards, you, you already know. I mean, getting into the cards, I'm probably going to get really hype. Uh, but, yeah. So, last but not least, we've got this bad boy. It is Ventus Jetra. So, it's Jets. 
Bakugan, man. Just so, so awesome. Uh, look at the design on the outside, man. Like, uh, it reminds me of, like, kind of like a jellyfish monster. And I can definitely see, like, the kind of tentacle legs right there. Um, the designs for them. Yeah, just how the patterns are. But just such a cool pattern for sure. Uh, got a little bit of lime green uh, right here that's on the front. I'm guessing this is, like, the front of it, may Maybe. Maybe this is the front, or maybe it's not. Maybe this maybe this is the front. It looks so similar on, like, both sides. But, yeah, man, still. Looking really, really sick. Got the lime green right there. Not a whole ton of paint application with it, which, honestly, not needed too bad. But, uh, yeah, man. Anyways, uh, Ventus faction symbol right there. And let's get into it. Let's see. Oh, there it is. And it just did a somersault roll. That was cool. Uh, yeah, so... Is it? Yeah, it's from this side. Okay. Dude, look at the design of this. Yeah, man. Like a big time, like kind of jellyfish monster or something. But yeah, look, you can even see like more of the tentacle designs on the inside. Um, you got the black around the middle. Like look at all that black paint use. It's going to look so sick in other uh, factions. You got the yellow for the inside. That's the actual like eye for it right there. Um, and then just like these big time like this big time head design like it's kind of got like a mushroom umbrella type design for the top of the head but looking really really sick dude just just the design for it man and all the details even with the core and look at the inside dude it's got the paint on the inside too oh that's sick that is really sick and it's b power is 800 so if it has a shield it'll be good for sure like if it if it has a shield with it, it's breaking a thousand. But it's looking so awesome, man. Jatra is a, like such a cool design. Holy cow, man. Like, yeah, I love the design of it in the show. I was like, yo, what? And then seeing the actual gone for it. Yeah, look at that design, man. Just so, so awesome. Definitely a different approach and love it for sure. But let's see. Actually, these, these, and then close that's actually really simple to close it too like literally just close the bottom parts close the top parts and then push it all together and that's how you close jetra that's really really simple man but it's looking really sick ventus jetra in the ball form so so cool man all right now before getting into the opening action for uh toranoid gonna get into the cards so let's see does it come with some pretty good cards um, I'm still hyped for, like, the upcoming waves, like, for sure. Like, uh, Shields of Astroia, Secret to the Geogon, the GG set. There's another third set for Geogon Rising. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see, man. But let's see. Glacial Glare, five cost, minus a thousand, and scan. So, five cost for that. Yeah, that's a hard-hitting card. And it's a part of the GG set. Like, this is a card that'll switch things up big time, man. You have the scrounge effect with it, and a scrounge deck would be set up. Uh, perfectly, you know, with the scan. Also, like, a thousand for five costs. That's honestly not that bad. And having the scan effect, too. Like, look at this top card of your deck. If you like it, leave it there. If you don't like it, put it at the bottom of your deck. But, um, yeah, man. So, even, like, scrounge, like, you could even usually scrounge and inspire together, like, how some of the cards are. They're making it where, like, some code words can blur together and such. We just gotta see the cards a big time, man. And I'm hoping 2022 is the big time, because it's the perfect time to do so, man. Like, Bakugan's still doing very, very well, and you want to push it over the edge, drop those cards in 2022, and you'll have your factor already that will push it over the edge. And I'm super hyped for Evolutions and all the different versions they're going to be having, like returning Bakugan, you know, maybe some... Uh, releases of scrapped Bakugan that they were going to put out but didn't have no space for in, in like waves of previous seasons. Uh, yeah, definitely just hoping big time for Evolutions, man, because it has big time potential for sure. Bullion Blast is a crazy card too. Eight cost, you guys. Plus 2,000 and plus 10. On both sides of the spectrum, it's a lot of power, but it's eight cost with it. But you air zero that out, that's, that's a lot, like for sure. You already know. <laughs> like, it ain't playing around, not one bit. Echo search, one cost. Scan, draw one, scan again. Uh, yeah, man. And Shark Tar's artwork right there. We got Artoa here, 702. So, it has a Flame Fist and a regular Fist. Okay, so it's getting up to 950. Um, so it's not quite breaking a thousand, which is honestly a little sad to see. Like, 950 is still, like, just below a thousand. Um, and five. So, you know, you can go with the damage deck kind of approach with it, too. And also, if you land on a flame fist, you get plus two for the frost strike. So if you do go the damage deck approach and get it up there enough, um, you know, and you land on a flame fist, 
uh, you can make it where it's tougher for your opponent to use their flip cards because the plus two frost strike was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, definitely wish it was like a like a little stronger. Like honestly, eight hundred would have been cool for this because that way to break a thousand. But still, it's looking really really awesome, man. And I'd say still usable. Just got to find the right way of using it. Then we got Toranoid here, 606. It has the Helix and also a regular Fist. So it's getting up to uh, 12, yeah, 1203 or 1105. So it's breaking 1,000, no doubt. Um, yeah, and it's still got a pretty decent amount of damage with it too, regardless of what way you go. Um, yeah, man, it's looking really, really sick. Just chilling out in the desert. Such a cool design in Arliss for sure. Uh, yeah, and you can see right there, GG set. We just got to see that set. Maybe the GG set's the last one for, uh, Geogun Rising. Maybe they only put out two sets for it. If so, like, it's fine. We just got to see those sets. No doubt. Because there's definitely some cards that will switch up things in a big-time way. And then we got Jetra here. Ventus Jetra. 801. Okay, it's definitely breaking 1,000. It's getting up to 1,201. But the kicker is, if it lands on a shield, it gets plus four damage. And the Shadow Strike as well. So... That's nice, man. So, four, no, 1,200. Yeah, 1,205. Uh, it's getting up to uh, perfect for a regular shield setup deck. Like, you can see, um, even with these Bakugan, they're adding, like, you know, if you land on a shield, you get this. Even with magic shields, they're doing so a little bit. Uh, yeah. The main thing, uh, definitely just want to see the cards. Um, and with the cards, definitely seeing more cards that, you know we, how we have Holy Flame that um if you land on a regular fist it gives you an extra boost well um some more cards that do that for like flame fist so like you land on a flame fist get an extra boost honestly for shields i'd say same thing uh you land on a shield get an extra boost we got a couple cards that are like that um but you know just more of those types of cards and it'll really balance out the game because honestly there's a lot of cards that really help out regular fist decks um flame fist how they're set up with some of their uh bonuses like this helps out big time but seeing some more flame fist cards you know like you land on a flame fist you get an extra little boost with the actual action cards and stuff would be really cool like how we got for holy flame and the same thing for shields honestly helixes and magic shields don't really need them uh because they're already really powerful but you know yeah, I definitely just want to see that more for, like, Shield and Flame Fist, because it would really bounce things out and make them that much more usable, too. But, yeah, and also, just the artwork for Jetra looking so, so sick, man. It's got such a cool design. So awesome, man. But, yeah, anyways, we've got to get into the opening action for Toranoid. So, here we go. Three, two, one, and brawl. And, ah, oh, man, dang it. All right, let's try this again. All right, and oh, there we go. It tried to <laughs> it tried to flip, but then it's like, nah, man, I was stuck. All right, but uh, yeah. So then we've got uh, yeah, it could double core. It's got the Ultra Magnet in it, so it could double core. But the question is, can it pick up a third one somehow? Oh, it tries to. Maybe if it lands on the side or something, you have to get a crazy roll with it. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, it can, dude. If you're careful with it, it can triple core, which would be an insane move for sure, man. Yeah, like that. That would be scary if it managed to triple core, but it can, man. Like, look at that. It's it's picking up. Yeah, it's holding on to it pretty well, too. So there's a definite chance you roll it the right way and figure out how to really use Toranoid. It could be that much more dangerous. But, uh, yeah, man. So... Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Geogon Rising Arliss Toranoid Ultra 3-pack. Just so, so awesome, man. All these Bakugan really, really epic. I'm kind of sad that Oratoa doesn't break a 1,000, but still get a 950. Like, you know, it's up there. It's not like it's way down, like, um, uh, like... 500 with, like, a regular first and only getting to, like, 700 or something like that. That would be a definite disappointment, but... You know, being at 950, definitely not bad. Uh, so, yeah. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So, yeah, guys, till next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl, I'm up out of here.